I was diagnosed with breast cancer seven years ago. Um, I really was in good health. I, 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 I just went in for regular, uh, my regular annual checkups. And one of them was having a mammogram. And um, I went in for my mammogram. Two weeks later, I get a phone call that I needed to go to the hospital because they wanted to do a whole different series of mammograms on me. And I went. And after that set of mammograms were done, I kind of just asked the technician, oh, well, do you see anything going on in there? And she said, well, you know, there are some calcifications in there. And I said, well, what does that mean? And she says, it, it could be, you know, a lot of things, but then, you know, it could be cancer too. Well, when I heard the word cancer, I mean, fear just gripped me. Like, what if I have cancer? But then, you know, I said, well, I shouldn't let it control me. I, you know, it's just, it's just a wait and see. Let's wait and see what the results of the second set of mammograms uh, say. But then a couple of weeks later again, I get a call that I needed to go in for a biopsy. The fear came back again. And um, I went in and had my bi... I, my, actually, it was during the holidays when um, I was told I needed a biopsy. And so I was told that they would make an appointment for the day after New Year's, which I had gone in on January 2nd. And um, four days later, I get a phone call at home, and it was the radiology oncologist to break the news to me that I had breast cancer. At first, it was like, you know, you kind of just go into a certain kind of shock where you just sit there and you say, no, this is not really happening to me. But then reality sets in and, you know, I, 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 I think it wasn't until like a couple of days later, um, I realized, geez, you have breast cancer. And I think that's when the crying started and the why me started and being angry with God. Why? What did I do to deserve this? But then the crying stops and you say to yourself, wake up, you've got cancer. Face it. Stop crying. Do what you have to do to get over this. And so... The, how do you say, the wheels of motion started and um, appointments with the surgeon were made. Um, my husband had a little difficult time accepting it though. I think he had a little, I think it was a little bit harder for him to accept. So he, he asked me to get a second opinion. And, and from, the very, from the onset, all my checkups, he was always there with me inside the doc, with the doctor and everything. So we, we went for a second opinion. <clears throat> it showed that um, it confirmed I had seven calcifications in one breast. And a lumpectomy was just out of the question. They had to do a, a complete mastectomy. So I had the mastectomy done. And um, it was hard. I think the hardest part for me was seeing myself for the first time in the mirror after the bandages were taken off. And that was very hard because I think the loss that I felt was that this part of me was gone. And I felt that maybe my husband wouldn't love me anymore because of this. And I didn't quite know how to ask him how he felt about it. He, he was always there for me. I mean, from the time, you know, in the hospital, I got home, he was the one that was cleaning my, my drainage tubes, and, and he was there for me all the time. My children were there. But um, just looking at myself in the mirror, I, I you know, I, I had doubts in my mind whether he would still love me. And so I finally approached him and I said, do you still love me? And he says, why do you ask that question? I said, because you know, and I, I started crying, of course, and I, I don't feel full anymore. I, I, 
I'm, I'm ugly, you know, and I look at myself. And he says to me, for heaven's sakes, I didn't marry your breasts. I married you. Even if you had no breasts, I'd still love you. And so, you know, it was, it was difficult. And um, it's been seven years, but I think back sometimes and it still hurts. It really does, it still hurts. But being a survivor has made me realize that there's always hope that you always have to think positively and always know that there's someone and there's there's so much out there that 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 there is for you to take advantage of and i've used my my i guess my situation in reaching out to other women and letting them know that it's okay you know it's it's okay if you're diagnosed with with cancer i realize it's 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 a long and it's a hard trip but you get through it there is always hope and have faith faith will bring you strength and strength will bring hope to you